Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this flight test Tales from the Dark Side episode concerns the unwritten rule that no matter how long you make a runway, there's a pilot somewhere that'll find a way to run off the end of it. Now, out at Edwards, we have the Air Force Test Pilot School. And one thing that they do as part of the curriculum is they bring in a variety of aircraft for the students to fly and evaluate uh, both operationally and handling qualities and all sorts of things like that. So in that process, they'll bring in the aircraft. And in this case, this is a Canberra B-57. Now, this is not to be confused with the B-58, which I think is one of the most beautiful, interesting, and before-its-time designs uh, that has ever flown. But no, back to the B-57. All right, here's the B-57. They use it in the test pilot school curriculum. They bring them out uh, for uh, uh, various classes, and they, uh, they keep them on the base for a few weeks. The pilots get to fly it, and then they return back to their operating command. Well, I was taking off on a uh, mission, proficiency mission, I think it was, and uh, here's the Edwards runway. This is a uh, runway 22. You can see the arrow, that's the departure, and that's actually the, the overrun. Uh, this, not counting that overrun, is a 15,000 foot runway. And as I was taking off, it only, it only takes about 2,500 feet to get the T-38 uh, airborne in afterburner. As I was taking off, cleaned up, accelerating, I flew over the end of the runway, and look at the little blue arrow there, and saw the B-57 off the end of the runway. There had not been any note in ops or anything about there, there was an aircraft off the end of the runway, so when I got back, I had to ask, what happened? Well, apparently, the uh, owning command, the pilot who had brought it in, lined up the aircraft, uh, put the power in, started to go down the runway. He noticed that the left engine uh, wasn't responding. So he left the right engine up instead of aborting, like, you know, would have been kind of the uh, smart thing to do. He decided to pull the left engine back and then re-accelerate it. Well, he brought it up again, and the engine still didn't correctly respond. Well... That didn't dissuade him. He thought, well, I'll do this one more time. So he brings the power back, then runs the power up again. And, of course, he's chewing up quite a bit of runway while this is going on. And after the uh, second, actually third failed attempt uh, to get takeoff power out of the engine, he decided maybe it's a good time to abort. And he did. Unfortunately, he was too far down the runway, and he ended up going 1,000 feet off the end of the runway into the dirt. So the maxim is true. No matter how long you build a runway, somebody will find a way to go off the end. If he had been taken off a of runway 4, the opposite direction, that goes into the lake bed. He could have rolled for miles. There would have been absolutely no problem. But unfortunately, runway 22 is the one that is mostly favored by uh, the prevailing winds, and that's the one we use uh, the most. Thanks for watching.